Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther and today we're going to take a look at some uh, box mockups in mid journey. And after that, I'm going to import it into Photoshop and transform them into some solid mockups. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm going to type in slash imagine. I'm going to go with cardboard box packaging mockup. I'm also going to type in line line AR space three colon two. So it's going to be horizontal. Let's see what we got. So it seems like it gets me some packaging designs, which is already done, you know. So let's test out something else. I'm going to go with imagine cardboard box mockup. I'm going to go with clean and I'm also going to add another one. This is going to be empty. No, no, no. It's going to be blank. I'm also going to try out another one. Cardboard box mockup imagine template. So we got the blank. Again, it puts text on it. You know, it looks like a normal packaging box. Same thing with the clean. And then we got like cardboard box mockup. And again, same stuff, even more decorated. Okay, let me try out blank box mockup. I'm also going to copy paste this and we're going to add some more stuff. Control V with no image on it. Let's see what we got. I'm also going to try another one because it is creating a lot of images with text mostly. So we're going to exchange the image with text. Oh, there you go. Now these are more clean. I'm also going to add another one with this with AR 3 by 2 Maybe it's going to make the boxes more wider eventually. So let's see what we got. We have the black box mockup, no image on it. Wow, it worked. It's perfect. It's clean, finally. So the next one is blank box mockup with no text on it. This was blank box mockup with no image. This one is with no text. It gives like different box sizes. This is amazing, which has a pretty big space where you can add a logo or some packaging design. So I gotta go with a fourth and look at that. Looks nice. I gotta save it. I gotta drag and drop my logo and double click to release. Good. I gotta press control A. I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy the logo. I'm going to uncheck the logo, press Ctrl D to deselect, click on the box. Let's go to filter and let's go to vanishing point. Great. Select the create plane tool. I'm going to click here and the other edge and the third edge. And as you can see, it's going to highlight this area. I'm going to press Ctrl V. So this way it's going to copy paste the logo. And check this out. We can place it like this. And I'm going to try to scale it down. I actually can. I'm going to click OK. Check this out. It just placed perfectly on the box. So this is how you mix up mid-journey with Photoshop. Thanks for watching.